everyone and welcome to today's morning report chart appraisals on Friday the 21st of October with me Rich Pro Market Analyst at Handset Markets. We've got a fairly settled open to the European trading session, nothing too significant in terms of direction. The big moves that we've seen actually in the last sort of um, 24 hours really have come in the dollar which is um, strengthened significantly and that's come, that dollar strength has come on the back of this big breakdown in the euro and um, that came after that uh, ECB meeting yesterday, big spike higher initially in the meeting but then suddenly sold off. Basically the market was sort of looking at this tapering of asset purchases, it, um, Draghi and the ECB governing council have not discussed it apparently and uh, subsequently the market has taken that as a bit of a dovish um, dovish move from the ECB and subsequently we're seeing the uh, euro lower and driving dollar strength and um, that is the only real move that we're seeing today nothing too significant in terms of direction anywhere else um, you've got European equity markets broadly flat um, interesting that um, that dollar strength is coming despite the fact that treasury yields are not really doing a great deal um, either on the two year or the ten year, well they are on the two year but to be honest two year, ten year not really doing a great deal um, oil markets basically flat not really doing a great deal uh, sold off that that initial or that test of 5167 on WTI on Wednesday couldn't con, couldn't hold the break and then you sold off uh, yesterday so that a uh, little bit of profit taking has been seen there and you can say that a similar sort of move came on the gold really um, where you had an initial breakout on gold but couldn't take the move on the dollar strength and um, a bit of profit taking and uh, what we've seen subsequently is uh, markets just settling down a little bit today not a great deal going on today in terms of market direction um, and also events to drive market direction we've got the Canadian inflation basically is the the only real uh, bit of data today Canadian inflation at uh, to 130 CPI expected to come at 1.5 percent up from 1.1 so um, that's mildly improving again but it basically is around about that sort of one one point between sort of 1.2 1.5 area in the last few months um, core inflation is expected to stay flat at 1.8 percent as well so not really showing a great deal of, um, of traction in terms of considered improvement anyway in inflation so uh, that's not going to endear the uh, market to think that the Bank of Canada is going to be raising rates anytime soon so um, that's the uh, that's the basically the bit of data that we've got to look forward to today nothing else other than that so um, with that in mind I wish you good luck in your trading and um, please uh, return again for my tr lucky eight trading instruments of our um, third week of the trader of the year competition and uh, I will speak to you later thank you